There's another story that has been percolating in the football world that people from Louisiana should really be paying attention to, but we haven't been because all of the football conversations have been about things that aren't happening on the football field. And actually, this story didn't happen on the football field either, either, whatever, but it will affect the play on the field. You may have heard of this story if you are really into LSU football. If you're not and are like a casual LSU fan, you're the one who probably really needs to know about this one. And I said it a few minutes ago. I, I put the, the preposition out this morning. And uh, Robert J. Wright, he and I talk sports often. Sometimes I'll say something to him, and he just looks at me and says, stop talking, save it for the radio. Don't talk about this. Don't think this through. Give your raw emotion and do it on the air. Don't, don't talk to me about it. And when I gave him this statement this morning, he did that and then, and then basically peer pressured me into moving this story into the first segment of the night. I was peer pressured by Robert J. Wright. So my, my theory is, I believe that the LSU football program should bench their best player and their starting quarterback for the rest of the season. Here's why. A couple of weeks ago, this was eight days ago. No, a little over eight days ago. It was two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, the best player on the LSU football team, running back Darius Geis, posted an image to Instagram of he and his mother standing in front of a brand new Range Rover. Uh, and it had the quote, one love mom heart love you baby with like a fist pump or a, or a flexing muscle. I'm not good with the emojis. I may be a millennial, but I'm a little bit too old for Instagram and Snapchat. I don't get the online lingo these kids roll out all the time. But I do get the idea of an NCAA player accepting gifts from boosters or other sources when they really shouldn't be. How do I know that this is probably not uh, an above-board transaction? How can I be so sure that there's something wrong here to the point where I can go on the radio with one of the most powerful radio stations in the state of Louisiana and say, you need to bench Darius Geis? Right now, I will say, Something's fishy here because Darius Geis deleted that Instagram post very quickly. What is one of the most, uh, I mean, obvious signs that you've done something wrong than delete what you just posted on the internet? Like, he took the time to have the picture taken. He took the time to pull it up on his phone, get it ready to roll out, post it, put the the cool little emojis in his like this was very deliberate you don't do something very deliberate only to delete it within 15 minutes unless somebody told you you just did something really really wrong now unless Darius Geis you know has some kind of odd wealth that we didn't know about maybe he's been collecting pennies for I don't know decades longer than he's been alive to accumulate what the value of this vehicle would be, I would estimate. I, I'm not a car guy, but that's probably a $50,000 car. A brand new Range Rover, that's, that's probably 50 k right? I'm not off on that. 50 k for a brand new car is not something that most college football players have unless that college football player just got $50,000 from, I don't know, a booster of the LSU football program or maybe somebody locally who's not a booster but this there are so many things that NCAA players cannot do as an NCAA player you can't have a Range Rover dealer say hey I'm just going to give you this car and then when you become the next Leonard Fournette and you're drafted into the NFL and you're going to be making millions and you come and do commercials for my car dealership here's the car right now cannot do that that is not okay. Ask Reggie Bush, which is why I say you bench your best player right now. If you are playing for today, if you believe that this season could be a season where things could get turned around and you could run the table the rest of the way and you could have a shot at the college, play college football playoffs 
You could have a shot at a great bowl game. You could beat Alabama. If you truly believe that your team can do all of that stuff, you need to find a way to do it without Darius Geis. Because every game from this point on that Darius Geis steps on the field for is in jeopardy of being a loss in the next 18 months. If Darius Geis is investigated for his his acquisition of this Range Rover and it is anything, look what's happening to Louisville right now. Look what's happening in college basketball. The Adidas investigation has the FBI in it and people are people like Rick Patino that you didn't think would ever get fired are going to get fired from Louisville. And now Nike is being investigated. More heads will roll in that. So if you're an LSU fan, and you know that every time Darius Guy steps on the field from this point forward, all of those games, win or lose, will be stricken from the record as soon as this investigation is done. Unless you really believe that there's some way that he was able to obtain a $50,000 Range Rover completely above board during his, what is he, a sophomore, a junior? I mean, he's not even a senior in college. And he's acquired this vehicle. How? How did this happen? There's really no answer to that question that does not involve an NCAA investigation. So for me, if you already have to bench your best player, if Darius Geis is going to have to be benched, Danny Etling, I mean no disrespect to him at all. I like everything I've heard from Danny Etling. I know he's gone through a lot. He had to transfer from Purdue. He's had back injuries and surgery. He is a very good game manager. But you're to the point in the season now where Miles Brennan will not be redshirting this year. Miles Brennan will play and will lose this year of eligibility. So he is the future. He is a true freshman, an 18 year old quarterback going out there and slinging it around. He's the future. Darius Geis is going to cost you games. So if you have to bench your best player, that, that should just happen now. Darius Geis, I'm sorry, but you're going to be riding the pine. I don't even know if the NCAA rules say that if he suits up, even if he doesn't touch the field, if he still costs you games after the investigation. Got to sort that one out. Maybe he doesn't even dress for games anymore. But just know moving forward, every game he is involved with will eventually be a loss, just like USC and Reggie Bush. So, Danny Etling, I'm sorry, but we're playing for the future right now if I'm LSU. And that means Miles Brennan is taking snaps under quarterback. And Miles Brennan is getting out there, learning the game speed. He's getting Matt Canada's offense locked down. He's learning everything there is to learn about playing football at the highest level in the SEC, going on the road, places like Florida. And he's learning what it's like to lead the purple and gold out in Death Valley. If you take a guy that's as highly touted as Miles Brennan, Miles Brennan might be the best quarterback prospect to walk into LSU in a decade or more. He he's probably the golden arm that this program has had. Unless you go like all the way back to Jamarcus Russell, who I gotta double check it. I don't think he was a highly touted prospect. He just turned into a man among boys for a year. But Miles Brennan, he has everything. That's consensus through the the recruiting process. Everybody that was trying to get him. And when I say everybody, everybody was trying to get their hands on Miles Brennan. LSU got him. LSU believes in him enough to where he's not redshirted as a freshman. He is on the team and he's taking meaningful snaps. So if we're at the point where we think that we're playing for the future... Because Darius Geis is going to be benched, I would do it right now, seriously, no doubt in my mind. Bench Geis, play Miles Brennan. Are you going to win the rest of the games on your schedule if you go with that plan? No. But are you going to face an NCAA investigation that could cost you scholarships, that could cost you victories, that could cost you the future of your franchise? You risk that by trotting Geis out there. Maybe Darius Geis wasn't actually injured. Maybe Darius Geis and and the program knew the Range Rover's existence. And maybe that's why the injury suddenly went away and he suddenly played. This is all hypotheticals. But I'll tell you what's not a hypothetical. If I was the AD or the head coach at LSU, I would be benching Darius Geis yesterday. And I'd be starting Miles Brennan right now. Because let's really be honest right now, nobody in this room 
believes that LSU is going to play for a national championship this year. But who's to say that if you don't have NCAA violations over the next three years and if you get two years of starting under the belt of Miles Brennan and you get Ed Orgeron's recruits in there, who's to say in three years you are not the new Alabama? I'm playing for that right now. I'm not playing for this year.